Hey, it's Jeff. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about the four types of LED grow lights that I use for my house plants. And I use them for different reasons. Upstairs, all my plants receive natural sunlight, but there's a couple areas where it might be a little bit more on the low to medium light. At the back of my living room, um, it's about 15 feet away from a south facing window. And although you might think it gets like a lot of light, uh, it actually doesn't so I supplement that area with some grow lights as well as some higher light plants that I have in kind of like that medium light location it's near an east facing window I just use it to supplement that uh, light just so it gets uh, that kind of full sun that it requires and then downstairs here I use 100% grow lights for all my house plants there's no natural sunlight down here so those are kind of the reasons why I use grow lights I'm gonna run through some of the pros and cons about each light uh, some of the functions and just kind of my overall thoughts of these lights it's not necessarily going to be a uh, like a spec video I'm not going to talk about the wattage and all that kind of stuff this is just strictly my opinion and my experience with these uh, four types of grow lights I'm going to start off with these two these are the fight electric grow bulbs this is the a19 so it's just your regular like standard uh, grow bulb and this is the br30 these are actually the first types of grow lights that I purchased just to try out with my house plants and overall, I'm really satisfied with these grow bulbs. My plants have responded really well um, in regards to growth and that sort of thing. Um, some of the pros for this is obviously the cost. I believe this bulb itself is about $19, $20. I think I paid at Home Depot. This one's a little bit more expensive. It's got a little bit of a higher wattage and obviously it's a bigger uh, grow bulb. I think this one was like $25. So they're really affordable, but kind of a pro and con is that you can use it in any type of lamp that you have in your home. I use a lot of these clamp lamps. They're just very easy, just accessible. You can clamp them on any uh, shelf or pull or anything like that. But if you don't have a lamp, then you obviously have to go out and buy one. Sometimes they can be uh, a little bit pricey as well. These clamp lamps, uh, I wanna say they're about $20 as well. So kind of all in with the grow bulb and the uh, clamp light fixture, it's about $50, I'd say maybe a little bit over $50. Have a couple other fixtures here, like these, uh, they're called up lamps from Ikea. Again, I can't remember the exact cost on them, but um, I, I wanna say it's around the $100 and I have two of them and there's another uh, light fixture that I uh, have. I think that was probably around that $65 or $70. So if you don't have a light fixture, um, one that you actually like looking at, um, it can get quite expensive as well. So there is a bit of a cost um, to purchasing the uh, light fixtures as well as the grow bulbs. Now another positive about this or about these grow lights is that they can actually be used in very humid locations. So the, if you have plants in your bathroom, these are okay to use in those higher humidity locations. And then the thing that I really like about LEDs, which like I said, all micro lights are, is that these are low energy consuming light bulbs and they also um, are low heat emitting light bulbs. So if you have them close to uh, some of your house plants, um, they're not gonna emit much heat, which can cause uh, some leaf burn. I know there's some other different types of grow lights out there that put off a lot of heat that can actually burn your uh, house plants. So just keep that in mind. I guess one of the only cons uh, that I have with this light bulb, and I kind of already alluded to, is the, it's not very aesthetically pleasing. Like I particularly don't like these clamp lamps. They're very uh, user friendly. I can basically place them everywhere, but I don't like the industrial look of these lights. And honestly, just having them set up the way I do, everything looks really, really cluttered. Another con for these grow lights in particular is I know a lot of people don't like that kind of pinkish uh, reddish tone, which these lights have a slight pinkish tone to. Personally, I like the white natural light and even a little bit of that warm kind of yellow tones. I particularly don't like the pink red that this gives off. I'm gonna do a little light experiment with each of these grow lights um, with this white piece of paper and I'm gonna use my uh, studio light that I use for filming my videos as kind of the starting point as it emits a very bright white light. I do have it set to 5,500 uh, Kelvins right now and just so you can see, Hopefully it shows up. This is a very bright white light. And when I put it underneath uh, these grow lights, hopefully it shows up on camera. You can see it's just a, a little bit more of a, like that kind of pinkish, almost purplish tone. So over here, bright white. Over here, you can see it's a little bit of a pink tone. Okay, moving on to the next one. This is everybody's favorite, or at least I think it is, uh, the Amazon Gooseneck Grow Light. 
The main feature or the main pro for this one is obviously the cost. You can get these for pretty cheap, anywhere from like 20 to $40. Um, there is many different types out there. Um, so yeah, there's a very large selection. You can get anywhere uh, from like two uh, lights to like I think even four or five of these gooseneck grow lights. Now some of the pros, um, obviously they're very versatile. Obviously they're cheap, they're very affordable. And for the most part, they do the trick. Um, most of my house plans that I have them under do really well. So I really have no complaints about their performance. And they actually have some pretty cool features on the little control panel here. You can rotate the lights from side to side. You can turn one off, you can turn multiple off. It has a dimming feature. So if you don't want as intense of, of light for a certain plant, then you can uh, turn that down. And it actually has a timer for three, six, and 12 hours. So that's kind of a cool feature um, when using this light. Most of them are just using a, like a USB port. So you have to have uh, some sort of uh, plug for the, uh, for the outlet itself. Um, now for the cons, basically you get what you pay for. These are extremely cheap. They're cheaply made. I've had, uh, I've actually thrown one out already. So they're not really that long lasting. This specific one I have in my bathroom, I use it for um, rehabbing or sorry, quarantining house plants. It occasionally uh, doesn't turn on. I might have to click the button like three or four times before the actual light turns on. So the timer feature, it really doesn't work if the light doesn't turn on by itself. Sometimes I come in and it's not on. Uh, so I'll have to uh, start it up again or turn it on and then reset the um, timer feature. So it's not, it's not a huge deal. It's not a deal breaker for sure. Um, I have snapped off these kind of swivel, um, the heads of these lights, they swivel. I have snapped one off and yeah. So just a cheap product, obviously just be careful with it. Another complaint that I have about this is I just don't like the way it looks and even my family complains about it. Um, you got these, you know, two or three gangly looking arms. Um, I do have one set upstairs for my fiddle leaf fig and I actually um, attached it to our water jug uh, on our uh, cooler. Um, I thought it was pretty genius, but every time we have to switch out uh, the water bottle, I gotta take the light off. Um, some of them have a clamp, which I do have on the, uh, on the shelf right here. This one, it's got a bit of a twist, so you can clamp it on to a countertop, and that's what I have in my bathroom. I probably won't be buying these again, because like I said, I've already thrown one out. Um, if you continuously buy these cheap products, then it's just gonna add up uh, down the road. So um, yeah, overall, not terrible, but um, the plant seemed to like it. So yeah, it just comes down to, I guess, what you are looking for in a grow light. Um, and if cost is one of them, then uh, definitely these do the trick. The color for this one is actually a pretty soft yellow. So let's do the color test again. Here's my studio light, nice white light. And when you put the white piece of paper behind it, it has almost like a golden glow. So very similar to something you'd uh, get with like natural sunlight, um, yeah. See, even just moving this one, this one flickers a little bit. So um, it's a very nice soft tone to it, which, which I do appreciate for this one. It's not uh, kind of that pink or reds. And uh, these plants up here like it. Uh, here is the clamp version. And I just have it clamped onto my uh, shelf here. And this is the three light gooseneck. So I have it pointed in obviously different directions. Um, one down here, there's uh, some plants up on the plant shelf and then one to my Wally grow. So it is a very versatile, kind of handy little light. Um, so yeah, not bad for the price that you pay for it. This next one is the Plant Spectrum Grow Light by Mother. And although they did send me a couple, uh, a few months ago to try and review, I want this to be a very honest review. There's gonna be two main aspects of this grow light. The first one is obviously the way it looks. It doesn't look like any other type of grow light. It's very sleek, it's very attractive and it's very versatile. There's many different arrangements that you can uh, have it from, anywhere from like a standing grow light to a hanging one. Uh, it comes with these brackets. Um, you can hang it like on a plant shelf or in like an Ikea cabinet, it comes in different sizes. So overall, if you're looking for a very sleek, attractive light, this is definitely one that I recommend. Now, obviously the con that everyone's gonna be kind of talking about is the price. They're not cheap, that's for sure. Um, and they're not for everyone. I try not to think of it as just a grow light. I try and look at it as it, this is home decor. So like I was explaining earlier with some of my grow bulbs, you have to have a light fixture 
um, or a lamp or whatever it is to house those grow bulbs. So that's an, ex uh, an added cost along with grow bulbs themselves. Uh, so sometimes like if you buy like a, a nice fancy uh, lamp for your living room, those can be, you know, $100, $200 depending on obviously the type, quality and where you buy it, all that kind of stuff. Um, so I try not to think of this as just solely a grow light. I think of it as a, a fixture of wherever you're having it. So I'm not going to have or I'm not going to be able to afford 15 of these um, just because I want my plant area to uh, to look a little bit more aesthetically pleasing which I would love to have 15 of them don't get me wrong I don't like the look of these clamp lamps but I just uh, unfortunately have to buy what I can afford um, so yeah cost is a huge issue I know with a lot of people but if you're looking for kind of maybe like one or two uh, lights in say like a living room or um, yeah, you just want something nicer than these uh, cheap lamps and stuff like that, then I would definitely um, say that the cost is worth it. Now, you know, am I going to run out and, and go buy five of these? Probably not. But like I said, if you're looking for that very sleek, attractive grow light, um, this is definitely one that I would say, you know, you can treat yourself to um, as, as a little gift or something like that. Some of the other pros for this is that these can actually tolerate uh, that high humidity locations as well. I do believe this is a waterproof housing. It's aluminum, uh, it's very well made. It doesn't feel cheap or anything like that. Um, it's high quality. And the nice thing about this one compared to say like those Amazon, those cheap Amazon goosenecks, this I think has a lifespan of 10 years. When you burn out the LED strip, this can actually be replaced. So they have the, uh, the strip, like kind of the LED motherboard, light board, whatever you want to call it, uh, for sale on their website. So you don't actually have to buy an entirely new uh, light or housing. You can just replace the LED strip itself. So this is kind of a sustainable light if, uh, if you use it for like a long time instead of, like I said, I probably had that one Amazon light for a year. I had to toss out the entire thing just because it wouldn't turn on anymore. So that's kind of a nice feature that if I um, happen to burn out a, an LED strip that I know I can go on their website and purchase it and I don't have to throw everything out as I'm trying to be a little bit more conscientious of you know what I'm throwing out and what I'm using specifically with plant care stuff uh, things like sphagnum moss that's um, yeah they have to harvest moss bogs and stuff so I'm really conscientious or trying to be uh, of what I use for my house plants and this is uh, kind of a, a, a nice feature if you burn out the uh, <laughs> the LED strip. I'm gonna show you one thing that kind of really irritates me and it's not necessarily a fault of the company. Actually, it's not because it's mine. I move this light from this area over here to this area so that I can supplement light to uh, these two areas for my house plants. I do want this light on the underside of my shelf here so that the plants on the floor can get uh, light down there, but I don't have uh, another one. So I've just been kind of moving the light around as I go. Now with that, I have knocked this over probably two or three times. So even if you just like tap it, it's very, very wobbly. Um, so yeah, it's fallen over a few times, but it has not uh, damaged any of the uh, components within the light itself. And this is just my fault because I have it poor, <laughs> poorly set up. Like I have my cord, like this is where I walk. So 100% my fault. I probably need to put it in a better area, but th this is what I like about this light is like how easy it is just to move around. But at the same time, I am constantly bumping into it. Now this one I have secured to my lamp pole right here and it shines light to these. So this is how I would like these grow lights to be used. Um, like I said, put it underneath the shelf or, or something like that, just kind of out of the way. Before I had um, one of these utility lights uh, shining over here and this is my little walkway obviously and every time I would walk past that lamp I would uh, hit it and it would uh, fall off. So that's why I absolutely love these uh, mother grow lights um, just for a feature like this you can secure it with uh, I just use some t uh, zip tie but it's got those little brackets and it's got a little I'll show you on this one it's got the little uh, channel for those brackets um, so yeah you can hang them, you can stand them, whatever it is you like, uh, but they are super wobbly. So I don't know if it can be just fixed from um, maybe having like a wider uh, floor plate because it is pretty small, but yeah, 
be prepared if you have it uh, set up um, for it to be knocked over. Okay, now for the light test. Here's the studio light. You can see it's uh, bright white. This one is also a bright white, but just like maybe a slight, slight little yellow, kind of warmish tone to it. So maybe not that uh, like 5,500 Kelvin, um, but maybe somewhere, uh, I can't even remember what it was. So this, you can see almost has like a little bit of blue. This one is just a nice natural uh, light color to it. So I really like the, uh, the uh, color temperature of this light. And I think, uh, well, obviously my plants do really well. Everything looks really good, even the ones on the floor. They, uh, they really respond well to this light. Now, you know, aside from the cost, would I recommend this grow light? Absolutely. It is, like I said, very sleek. It's very aesthetically pleasing. Um, it's just a nice uh, grow. It's a nice developed grow light. Now the last light I'm gonna show you guys, I can't bring it down onto my table, but this is the Soltec Aspect Grow Light. And again, these were given to me by the company themselves. So I'm gonna keep it as, as fair and as honest as I can. Uh, same with the Mother Grow Light. I think the number one con for these grow lights is gonna be the cost. So they're definitely not a cheap grow light, but you, again, you have to think of it as home decor. This is a very sleek looking light and it comes with a little Pinocchio bracket. Um, you can tie the string on the wall. Um, the light is, is really good. My plants love it. If you're looking for something very uh, attractive looking, something very designer type, I don't even know. I'm not into that kind of stuff, but I absolutely love the way this light is. It's got uh, these little air vents in the housing. I think this is an aluminum housing. The quality is really good, but again, you're gonna be paying for, um, you're gonna be paying for that. It's gonna be a little bit more expensive. So would I like 10 or 15 of these in my house? Absolutely, my plants love them. Like, and this is the perfect setup for something you have on a table or on the floor. Look at this golden pothos. It's starting to size up a lot. And the nice thing about this too, is you can adjust the height of the uh, grow light. So if I want, like if these plants grow up, uh, up the wall, which I'm hoping to achieve like a nice uh, large leaf plant wall, you can raise this light up as well, or you can keep it in this area and it just emits uh, light to a wide range of plants on the floor. And I do kind of supplement, like I said, with the mother uh, grow light just on the side here. These are kind of the, uh, little plants on the on the fringe here that I don't really have room for. Um, ficus being one of them, it needs uh, a lot of light. So that's why I've been moving this one around. Otherwise, I, I typically, or I wouldn't really need this light there. Now I'm gonna do the light test and I just wanna pull this light over here so I don't trip on it. Okay, again, get that nice kind of white light. The Aspect Grow Light, another feature that a lot of people like about it is the warm tone to it. It has a nice kind of the golden yellow um, sunlight type light. It looks really good. It's not uh, pink. It's not like a bright white blue type light. It's just a nice soft light for your house plants. I know that's one of the main reasons why people buy this light is for the, just the nice soft uh, color tone of this grow light. I hope you guys enjoyed the demonstration of all these grow lights and kind of my final thoughts. If cost wasn't an issue, I would uh, absolutely fill my house with the Mother Grow Light and the Soltec Grow Light. Not only do they perform extremely well, but they just, they're very aesthetically pleasing. They're very sleek. They're, yeah, just nice looking grow lights. Um, now for the, if it was just, like, well, if it did come down to a money uh, factor, which it does, I would recommend the Fight uh, Electric Grow Bulbs. Um, they do the trick. Um, they work, like my plants love them. They, uh, they consistently put out a new growth, specifically downstairs here, and even the ones that, well, I don't have any upstairs right now, but um, overall, just for like a grow bulb, um, yeah, I highly recommend that uh, Fight Electric Grow Bulb. Um, so yeah, with that being said, it basically comes down to a cost thing uh, for most people. Um, if it's a cost thing, the fight. If it's not a cost thing, then I would definitely look into getting one of those Mother um, or Soltec grow lights. So I think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. If you have any comments or questions, leave it down below. Let me know what type of grow light or grow bulb or whatever it is you use for your houseplants, um, if you even use them. I would really like to know your guys' thoughts on grow bulbs and the type and what you guys use them for and all that kind of stuff. So thanks again for watching my videos. Take care, everyone. Bye.